Hey guys, apologies. Uh, basically, the feed was cut. I was on Wi-Fi, so it could have been a Wi-Fi issue. But it seems like just when we got to the juicy part of all this, the feed went down. So we're live again. This will be part two. I'm going to try to recount where I got cut off. I think I was talking about Ofer and Juba. Named after Yuba City and the dam. Now we know that the very first mint, in other words, where the very first place where gold coins were stamped in California was in a place called Mount Ophir. And that is a further south. But we also know that Oroville originally was called Ophir City. We know that because this is what the history books tell us. So this place is directly linked into the entire story about gold and also the acknowledgement that Ophir connects to North Africa because this dam and city were named after Ophir and we have the first U.S. Mint called Mount Ophir. That points directly back to North Africa. Ophir is this, this the port where Solomon got his gold every three years. That's what it is, okay? It's in the Bible actually too. So the connection we have now solidified as being the truth. We know that Yuba, which is Yuba City, which is south of this place, is the name of King Juba from North Africa as well. Okay, so we've solved that. What is in question here are the Masons who built this dam. Of course, the Masons follow the teachings of Solomon, but Solomon after he turned to the dark side. And this is who they worship, okay? Because Solomon was one of the few people on earth other than Jesus Christ that had special powers based on what God gave him, but then he used it for dark purposes and evil later on. So I believe where we got cut off as I was talking about all that. And then I was talking about the sluice box. Okay. That this is a giant sluice box. It's one of the longest spillways in the world. It is 1,000 meters. The only one bigger is in Montana. And it is 1,500 meters. So imagine adding an additional half of this, and, and that is the longest spillway in the world, but yet we hear no mention of this spillway. We also know that it eroded this way, which means water follows gravity. So why didn't they make the spillway at the same angle as where water would normally fall? In other words, it was almost seemed like it was designed to fail. We know that all this virgin rock is being eroded from the hillside, which most likely contains gold. And now this explains all of the security around this dam. Any virgin rock being exposed with high amounts of water and millions of cubic tons of rock being dislodged is going to have gold in it in this area. This was the first place where gold was discovered behind the walls of this dam in Orville Lake, in this valley. It was the first discovery in California. And the first U.S. Mint in California was called Ofer as well, further south of this location. So we know what's going on here. This could be a state-sponsored or government-sponsored gold operation. Hence, all of the alphabet gangs in the area providing security. Hence, the things that don't make sense, hence firefighters who are risking their lives getting fired because they simply shared photos online after all the service they've given to this country and risking their lives fired for posting a photo. This is why. This is why all the security. You know, I think before we got cut off, I was going through the scenario of how all of this would go down. At the least case scenario, they're still going to be able to harvest gold out of this mountainside. That's the least case scenario. Okay. Already gold has been dislodged. Make no mistake. This is virgin soil. Gold is in here. Period. Who gets the gold is the question. Many of you have seen the Alaska gold show. It was on TV, reality TV show. And you saw how they had to dislodge the soil. And you saw that in the grand scheme of things, they dislodged far less soil 
in rock than you're looking at here, okay? Far less. Uh, they seem to go in these veins of mountainsides. This is how gold is harvested. And now you're watching this huge operation and huge amounts of water washing away tons and tons and tons of hillside. All of that gold is going to stratify up in these upper portions of the river. This may be why they cut the feed. They're probably as soon as people see this, it will cause a gold rush. And there will be people all along this lower level of this area searching for gold. Now, this goes deep because you always follow the money. Let me go back in here and make sure we're connected. They would love nothing more than to disconnect us again. Uh-oh. Sorry. Error licensing this video. Really? Let's take a look here. Make sure we're still connected. Unbelievable. We can't even publish this morning. Let's see if we were still connected here, you guys. Hold on. All right, let's make sure we're still up here. Yeah, I think we're good still. Should still should be streaming. Let's make sure before we continue on here. Unbelievable. What is this? This is the old one, I think. Let's close this up. Let's make sure we're still up and rolling before I continue on here. I just don't, I don't want to just keep talking if there's nothing recording. Okay, good. Looks like we're good. Now, I don't know if you guys, if I showed you in part one or not. Okay, good. All good. Thanks, Ozaro. I don't know if I showed you this in part one or not, but here is the sluice box. I'm going to do a side by side. We're going to have to do this again because I'm not sure if it got captured. Let's close this. This is the giant sluice box. We're going to go through some scenarios. Again, the Masons built this. All these dams are built by the government. They're not in private hands the way they should be. These are government. Why? Because all this land is owned by the government. Now I'm starting to see maybe why. There you go. There's your sluice box spillway at the Orville Dam. I'm going to go through this one more time. That all of these bars, these horizontal bars, Catch the gold because gold is heavy. It falls. All the sediment continues down. See how it fans out at the bottom. This is where the bigger rock gets collected down in this black. Actually, the, the gold actually, I think, falls in this black part underneath. So all this gold is in these cracks as this part is dislodged as well. A torrent of water flowing through. Gold can be found all along this watershed. Or at least a quarter mile. Now, the ultimate ability, the ultimate method by which they could harvest the gold, of course, would be a complete dam failure. And if that happened, all of this mountainside would go. All of this below here would be dislodged as this whole thing just drained out, basically shattering all of this mountainside and carving away massive amounts of gold as it would stratify out into these upper levels. I don't know how far it would go, but you can bet the gold would be full all along this valley. And that's the part I think they cut off. Sure we're still connected. Good. So that's the full story. They're not gonna hide the truth. Would I go up there and start panning for gold? Well, first of all, it's raining. Second of all, they're not letting anyone anywhere near. Oh, yeah, I like that, Gary. Pan, pan like panning for gold, right? They're not letting anyone near this location. I don't know how far away, but I do know that a couple guys started streaming up there. I know that... Um, that there's a lot of alphabet gangs up here trying to basically keep everyone out of the area. 
Thanks, Elias. I appreciate that. Much love. Elias just uh, did a little uh, tip donation for the show today. I appreciate that. Every little bit helps you guys. Um, and so that's where we're at with this, you guys. I'm going to read in the chat here. I have a little discussion with you before I get off of here. Okay, so did you see, did you say so Loman was there? Um, I don't know what that means. Casey, I was in the Kern River during the drought. That's one of my favorite rivers to fish for trout, actually. Kernville. Thought about moving there one time. Full gold flakes. I guarantee the topic of last night will come to be a reality. Those damn silt deposits are loaded. If be anything, exactly. There's already gold that's been to place, you guys, is, is, is the point. And it's under their control, and they get to harvest it because... You know that the, they own it. It's state. It's all that land is owned by the state. Now, the psyop will be that they're going to try to tax you for more money when they're going to already have millions of dollars and maybe even billions of dollars of gold from this event. That they're already going to be used, and they're going to double dip and try to tax you to fix this dam. That's what's going to happen. They already have the money. Trust me. All I got to do is as soon as the summer and spring hits and the, the everything starts to calm down. All they got to do is walk across the river, turn off the spillway, walk across, and there will be gold everywhere. It's going to look like a movie. You're going to see gold nuggets just sitting out in plain sight is the way all this is going to work. Okay. All right. What else do we have here? Uh, we're going to look actually at the valley behind Orville Dam right now. I think this is a good time to do this. Glad the feed got put back up. So you guys can see that I'm not making this up. Orville. Make, actually put Orville Dam. We did this on a previous show, but we're going to do it again. This is Orville Dam, of course. And second ma second largest man-made lake in the state of California. Let's look at the history. 1935. Now remember, Gold Rush had only happened, what, 50 years before this? 30 to 50 years? before 1935 okay so they already knew what they were going to do they're like oh let's let's uh let's bury this let's bury this until later okay so this is the central valley dam project central valley project these two guys edmonston and this other dude we're like hey we're masons we know there's gold up there we got all we could uh, 80 years ago. Let's bury it. And that's why on the plaque it says, these men won't get to see the dream. It's going to be the people after it. Okay? And this goes on. Groundbreaking, 1957. Feather River Canyon. California Gold Rush, let's find out where this valley was so we can get into this a little bit since we have a little bit of time here. Oroville Lake. Lake Oroville. I was shocked to find all these firsts in this area surrounding this. And that's what led me to dig deeper about what is going on here. Here are the Maidu, local indigenous tribe where the Konko Maidu translation is man. Now, Maidu we talked about is Maru, which is Marutania, North Africa once again. Okay. Phonetically, 
it's the same word. Today, many of the small towns, including Orville, were originally occupied by the Maidu people. And they used these Indians to mine the gold, okay? They told them it was yellow rocks. Heavy yellow rocks is what they told them. And they traded them for stuff of far less value. And basically took advantage of these Native Americans, used their labor to mine these yellow rocks and gave them almost nothing in return. So this went on. Let's take a look here. Hydrology, Orville Dam. Where is it talking about this valley? Let me slow down here, you guys. I'm getting distracted. Natives were disrupted in, uh, by gold discovery in 1848. And white miners infiltrated their lands in 1848, only three months after gold was discovered at Sutter's Mill. John Bidwell found gold on the Feather River at the spot today known as Bidwell Bar. This is it, Bidwell Bar. So they had gold discovery at Sutter's Mill, and then Bidwell Bar began to work. Bidwell began to work the claim known as using local Konkal Maidu workers due to the rapid spreading news of California strikes under a year. California's non-native population. Okay, so this is it, Bidwell Bar. Let's look at Bidwell Bar. Simply unbelievable. Bidwell Bar. Here it is, gold mining camp. Here it is. Lay at the end of the California Trail. Here's the history. It was founded by John Bidwell. He discovered gold near the middle fork of the Feather River on July 4th, 4th of July. He carried on a barter trade with local Native Americans trading food for the Yellow Rock, which was of no particular value to the Native Americans. I love how they word stuff, right? Take advantage of people, and they word it so that you don't even know how how horrible it is as the word of the gold set recovery got out a mining camp arose by 1853 the camp had attracted enough miners to warn a post office living in bidwell bar was rough many people lived in tents then it declined in population because they didn't have the technology to continue mining the gold at that time the gold disappeared and san francisco bulletin called it another deserted village i don't think the gold disappeared i think this is a lie i think they basically put it in a time capsule under the water for now miners are instead we're going to nearby ofer now oroville is what i said okay Now, Bidwell Bar, again, is underneath. Let's see if we can find the direct connection here. This is the Bidwell Bar Bridge. Construction of the Oroville Dam flooded the canyon where the Feather River ran, as well as the town of Bidwell Bar. So there you go right there in black and white. Bidwell Bar is underneath Lake Oroville. Okay. And there you go. Back in the chat. Thanks, Runda Christ. Appreciate it, man. It's funny how I just pop back in and you guys are sending me tips right as I pop back in. That's cool. 
So, um, yeah, check out Run to Christ channel, you guys. Amazing channel. Great research. Our minds think alike in a lot of ways in uncovering some of this pre-programming that runs throughout our media. Why do we do this work? Because everyone else is watching this reality. They're, they're in the matrix. They're embedded into the matrix. I compare them to the, the souls that were in the little pods in the film, The Matrix, and they were all just lined up in, a, in, in this lattice work, you know, like, like, like fetuses in utero, connected by wires, and that is everyone in this reality. And in order to snap people out of it, we have to show them the matrix. In other words, we have to wake them up so they see their prison. That's why we decode stuff. That's why we do it. Because everything that is coming through their senses is putting them to sleep until you shake them out of it. Okay? That's why we have to do this. This is tough work. It's hard. It's got many pitfalls. Sometimes we're wrong. But people like myself and Runner Christ see things that other people don't see. And we feel compelled to expose it. This is biblical. All that was hidden will be revealed in the last days. Somebody has to do the work. This is what we're doing right now. So shout outs to Run to Christ. Shout outs to Elias. Shout outs to Jennifer. Much love, Jennifer. You guys are all part of this. You guys are the ones who make this channel. Because I get all of my information from all of you. I don't always get to mention every single person that helps with the search, but it's like basically a wave of moving water, no pun intended, but that's what we are. Currents all coming together, forming a rushing river and helping each other to expose all of this stuff. I love each and every one of you. There's Genia, Bob, Jackie, identify this, Jason, much love to all of you guys. Again, shout outs to Elias brother in Christ, and again, he is trying to help people save money on their electricity bill. And if you do own your home and you're paying $150 a month in electricity, you need to call him. And he'll do an analysis to see if it's going to work for you. And if it does, then you're going to save money. You're going to save money for a long time. If it doesn't, then that's it. But at least you should call and try. And if you don't own your home, you can still get a thousand bucks for giving him the name or number or having someone else call him and give your name for a referral fee who does own their home. And I know all of you guys know somebody who's own, who owns their home, who at least would appreciate a free analysis to see if this is going to make sense for them. Okay. He does the whole thing. He does a shading analysis. Shows where the sun falls on your roof, the best place to put the panels, and all, and so on and so forth. All right, I'm back in the chat. Let's see here. The tunnel ritual they had resembles a dam flowing. Oh, Mel's wrong. I need to take another look at that. We all need to work together to stop these fools. Yeah, well, knowledge is power. And if a million people saw this video, they it might stop their plans. So I always tell people. This is about sharing the information. But somehow, somewhere along the line, and I don't blame you guys. I know you guys are doing the best you can. But somewhere along the line, the information is not getting out. So then when they, they do their plans, and then we actually show what they did after they did it too, because this has happened many times in this channel. We've kind of foreshadowed things that haven't happened yet. They still call us crazy because why? Because not enough people saw the foreshadowing. Oh, wow. Elias just dropped $100 in the tip jar. Thanks, man. Elias and I are going to be doing some work together. We're going to try to, I'm going to try to go to some home fairs and present National Solar to people out there. 
who are considering this, who really should start saving money on their electricity today. Now, for those of you that are only paying $60, $80 a month on your electricity bill, this might not be for you. But I know we pay $300 a month on our electricity. And if I own this house, I would be getting solar panels to drop my electricity down to like 150 bucks a month. Um, but I don't own, we're renting here. So that's the story with that. But that's where, that's where everything sits, you guys. Th this information is only as good as how many people see it. I know that you guys come here and I appreciate you and you're all part of this process of learning. But at a certain point, we got to break through. Again, I was very clear. This isn't, I'm not saying this is fact. This is going to happen or this is happening. I'm presenting information that I believe a lot of people need to see. They need to see this to stop any possible plans. I mean, I think we can all agree that we're against government corruption. I think we can all, we can all agree that the government lies to us. We can all agree that the government is doing covert things without our permission, putting citizens in harm's way. We can all agree that the government is greedy and that we wouldn't put, the, put it past them to come up with some kind of elaborate plan like this to harvest gold. So now, at the minimum, we can keep our eyes peeled about any gold mentions or any increased security beneath this dam, all these things, you know, I don't know, people can keep it. It's interesting that this cam, this cam that they have, this webcam for this dam is only the backside of the dam. They don't show us the spillway. Isn't the spillway the important part of what we need to be watching and want to be watching? It's because they're down there pulling out gold nuggets, you guys. I'm telling you. Gold has already been displaced. They're waiting because there's too much water still rushing through there. They do need to wait till things calm down. You can't just walk, walk into a rushing river and pull the gold out. But at a certain point, they're going to shut off the spillway completely. The water is going to drain down to nothing. They're going to be able to walk into the, the dry riverbed. And I guarantee you, there will be massive amounts of gold in the river, the dry up river, I guarantee you. Now, I'll be shocked if they don't censor the heck out of this video because they do not <laughs> want people down there getting this gold. They, they feel it is their gold. They already robbed the Indians for it, as I just read to you earlier. And now they want to rob you. They're gonna double tax you to fix this dam and they're going to get the millions or billions of dollars of gold as well. It doesn't take much gold to make a million dollars. Okay? That gold belongs to us. Why? Because we're the ones that paid the taxes to build that dam. Okay? I wouldn't put it past broke California to come up with some kind of elaborate plan like this to get gold out of the ground. Let me put things in perspective for you. Okay? Let's do a little research live here on air. Let me put things in perspective for you. See if we can figure this out. How much earth moved by uh, Orville and Spillway? Collapse. <clears throat> Failure. Maybe I should put that. Nope. Oh. All right. Now my guess is um, the damage that was done uh, let's see cubic tons how would they measure this? Okay I need your guys' help on this for those of you that think more like in the math in terms of math. What we're trying to figure out here is how many how much earth was moved with the failure of the spillway. 
And my guess is that we're looking at something on the order of, and I don't know because I haven't done the math on this, we need to find how many cubic feet of soil is moved. We're not talking just the spill, but we're talking the auxiliary spillway as well because of this rushing water. And my guess is that it rivals all of the earth moved in the entire history of the gold rush. That is my guess. I don't know that. But if someone wants to do the math on that and compare, you know, how many cubic tons of soil. Thank you, Sleeping Giant. Three. Okay, Sleeping Giant said three million cubic tons of soil. Thank you for that. Cubic tons of soil. Cubic tons of soil. Cubic tons soil. Old rush moved. Now let's look at the entire gold rush. Okay, can you say dredged cubic feet? Millions of tons of earth. Millions of tons of earth. Early in the gold rush. Okay, so we're going to do kind of a comparison. You said 3 million tons. And this is saying millions of tons. Find millions. Millions. Single Yuba dredge operation between 1980. Oh, wow. Excavated 26 million cubic yards of river rock and soil and produced over $7 million of gold. This is back in 1926. $7 million. So this is 26 million cubic yards. Okay, yards is three feet. So extrapolate that out. Three goes into 26. Uh, like eight times. So this is actually no, 26 times three. So it's about 75 million cubic feet. Okay. So this gives you a little bit of comparison. Now in the worst case scenario, if the whole dam went, we would have something on the order of all of the, the, earth and soil this place during the entire gold rush in one event okay i wish we had some more exact numbers but i'm just trying to put things in perspective for you guys a lot of earth was displaced okay and there's a lot of gold down there at least millions if not billions of dollars okay i'm back in the chat twenty seven feet cube per yard Thanks, Dr. Michael Miller. Seven. Um, <clears throat> yeah, that was measured in cubic yards, and someone said three million cubic feet. All right. Reading in the chat here. <clears throat> so... Sun's coming up over here. It's reading in the chat, you guys. In case you know that I was raised as Casey. Oh, that's interesting. That's pretty funny, Dr. Michael. Casey at the bat. Casey at the tab. Right? Gold is the morning sun if we are allowed it. Casey, don't be scared to make the boy a mod laugh out loud. Oh, you're talking about um, Dr. Michael? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, don't make the... You want to be a mod, William? Yeah, Isak. Casey backwards is Isak. Or Yes Owl, if you rotate the C. And this is why Ozzy... Ozzy backwards is... Yeshua. Yeah, I want to be a mod. Okay, cool. William Jane, let me make you a mod. Mod you up, brother. Uh, add moderator. All right. You have been modded. 
Right on, 222 Mission. Much love. Thank you so much. Okay, we're going to mod up Gary, too. Trust you guys. <clears throat> you guys have been around for a very long time. Uh-oh. There. There's my boy here. Let's mod you up here. Uh-oh. Trying to mod Gary, and it's, it's freaking out on me here. Hold on, Gary. Uh, there you go. I can mod too. All right. What the heck is going on with my Let's mod Gary up? <clears throat> Gary, you have been moded. <laughs> no, not moded. Modded. Gary will know what that means. He's from. He, he's old school like me. William, you look kind of young. I don't know if you if you would know what moded means. That's old school. That's from like the 80s and 90s. Mods get rid of trolls. Exactly. Mosquito punks in the house. Get rid of these trolls. Exactly. Lead us here to distract us. Get us to spend time talking about them rather than talking about the plans of our slave masters, right? Weird thing happens with knowledge. All of a sudden... They can't get away with the stuff they get away with because we're already showing what they're going to do before they do it. Okay? So therefore, they don't like that. It's like pulling the cover off the cockroaches, right? They hate that. Like Swedish grand Dr. Michael says, like Swedish grandfather, big Casey, I was little Casey, and they ran on the cattle. Was the swastika extra symbolism of the Nordis? That's wild. All right. <clears throat> There's Ozaru, monks on motorbikes. Rarely see trolls here. Yeah, you know, we did, I think we did a good job of scrubbing. I swear I blocked so many people from this channel. It's like they come here in droves. Descend on Air of the Stars channel to try to create havoc. So I think we pretty much beat this to death. Got an idea of what could be going on up there at the dam. Why all the security. Talked about Bidwell Bar being one of the first gold mining discoveries in California, just after Sutter. Okay. All this links in. Spillway. This just so happens to be the longest spillway in the world. Here it is right here. It's in uh, Fort Pack Lake Dam in Montana. It's only 500 meters longer than the Orville Dam spillway. We covered that. Make sure we got all this. Here's some video. What's going on here? It just looks really suspicious, you guys. See, all this earth is virgin earth, okay? Giant sluice box. This is actually even what a sluice box looks like. You see it cascading the water, cascading down over over the. Uh, let's go in here. See if we can pull up some uh, short video clips of of sluice boxes in action. I don't want to play too much of it because we'll get a copyright violation, right? You guys, we're already in 1984. Surveillance state. Oh, no, don't do this to me, please. Jeez, we're done. We're already in surveillance state. We're already, everything is copyrighted. It's all computerized. They can detect anything. Anything published is detectable. Okay, all this gold coming down the mountain. Look at this. All of it will just fall right in here. All of it's going to stratify out. Those guys are probably sitting down there looking, going, oh, man, there's gold in here. Can't wait for the water to go down. Okay. We're already in 1984. Okay. We're already here. Doesn't matter who's president. It doesn't matter. It's already happening. It's going down right now. Okay. Can't even see you guys. Sabotage my browser. So I'm going to have to shut the stream down, you guys. Appreciate you guys coming out today again much love 
gosh, how do I even fix this? I can't even see anything. Blinded. I think if I just close this, it'll work. 